can't tell. <laughs> but, uh, again, it's something they said was faked. Um, the other thing that they, a lot of people talk about being faked on there was the uh, chair at the lighthouse that moved by itself. Um, if they did do it, they had to have somebody laying there off camera for hours at a time. Um, depending on the evidence, I mean, I, I don't think they've ever actually released the full videotape of it. Um, from what I've seen, it's just been the clip from where the chair moves. Uh, what they said they did is somebody laid down on the floor and used a broomstick to push it or used a, some fishing wire to move the chair. Um, either way, I mean, it could have been faked. So, you know, we'd have to see the whole video. Those kind of did one did shoulders. Um, <laughs> uh, there are actually reports out there. That, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, you can tell we're a great group. We're, we're just one big happy family here. Um, <laughs> I like pork shoulder. <laughs> yeah, Adam's family. Oh, yeah. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh, um, there has been reports out <laughs> that somewhere on one of their investigations that they had a, the place that they're investigating had a camera set up inside their security camera, and uh, supposedly there are there is video out there showing them running fishing line before an investigation. That one I've seen. Um, I've I've seen it, but <clears throat> it's hard to tell exactly who's running it. You can't really make out the person. Whether it was set up later, set up by, you know, a look-alike, you know, it, it just makes them look bad. The, the thing with TV shows, just like movies, or, or long franchises that have existed a long time, where you're going to get the fanboys who think the group can do no wrong and someone's just out to set them up to make them look bad. So, unfortunately, that's what you're going to run into with all this crap. You're going to have die-hard people that think caps can do no wrong and... And we've run into it before. They are the paranormal gods. Um, overall, I do believe that they are trying to help. I am a help. paranormal god. <laughs> they are not. I do believe they are trying to help out, but, you know, I, it's going to take time. We're going to have to see how it works out in the long run. I just hope they don't do something blatantly, you know, out there that's going to really destroy all paranormal investigators forever. Really just trash our name. Um, I will give them credit. They're not as fake as ghost hunters. True. Wait. Most haunted. They are ghost hunters. Yeah. Most haunted. Most I'm haunted. sorry. Most haunted. <laughs> uh, that's actually on our list, too. Yeah. But uh, hey, one thing I will suck. say about taps, the one thing that I saw on the show that I really believe was paranormal was when they had the cameraman get hit with his bag. They slowed that down. They've got it on camera. You see the bag. He's got it around his neck. He's holding a boom mic up in the air with both hands. You see the bag raise up and smack him in the face. So he wasn't tea bag. Right. <laughs> but, uh... Because that'd be something to see if he tea bagged himself. Especially on national TV, you know. Um, well, that's cable. <laughs> it is cable. Oh, yeah. You'll see tea bagging on cable. Oh, yeah. Um, they do it on jackass. <laughs> yeah, they do. But, Disgusting. Uh, yeah, I, I do believe that was something. You know, what it was, I can't be 100% sure. But that does look like it wasn't faked. Well, what we mentioned Everyone here the, knows what a tea bag is, right? Yes. yes. Okay. They might. They're yeah, old. Um, <laughs> you guys know what tea bagging is? <laughs> it's not the kind you dip in your water, right? Oh. <laughs> it's where you throw the person down and then you hover over them and smack your ball sack on their forehead. It's called tea bagging. <laughs> Thank you for that. Someone throws you down and they put their ass right above your nose and they rip a nasty one. So which would you rather be, tea bag or beef stewed? <laughs> Neither on my end. Oh. <laughs> okay, back to most taunted now. Okay, I think we've all seen this one. I think we all yeah. say it's a joke. Most taunted. Oh god. The one that really goes bag. <laughs> Me up. It was like it was the first one I saw. They were doing an investigation in someone's home, and the guy that always gets possessed grabs a lamp off a nightstand, 
chucks it across the room and smashes it against the wall. Now, kind of like that. <laughs> Being a paranormal investigator, if anybody did that in my house, I would have to beat them. Plain and simple. You don't break people's stuff. You don't make a mess. Stuff like that is gives us all bad names. I'd make sure I didn't crack my window. <laughs> so, yeah. Stuff like that happens. I, I think they're a joke. I think it's all just made up for them. They, you know, they're in it for the money. Plain and simple. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, I'm possessed by a British guy. <laughs> okay, let's trash another movie. White Noise. I've heard tea and crumpets. Okay, anybody here see White Noise other than me? Basically, uh, it's an EVP movie. Uh, Michael Keaton stars in it. I've um, seen Black Silence. I, the only good movie I ever did was Batman. He was decent in it. Um, the premise of the story is his wife Jack dies, Bob. and he's trying to contact her on the other side. What he does is he takes, turns the TV on, tapes it for 20, 30 hours at a time, goes back and watches the snow to see if he sees any faces in it. Um, the murderer is shown for like 10 seconds getting off an elevator, getting on an elevator. And from that, you should figure out that he's the killer. There's really no way to figure this out until the end of the movie. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... The, for getting the name of the paranormal it's out there... It's so help. bad, he can't even talk. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it, it was bad. Uh, but it did give us a lot of uh, PR. I believe when the movie came out, we did a special talk at... Uh, Borders about it. Got a lot of people to show up for that. A lot of people want to know what EVP was. Um, it got a, you know the EVP term out into uh, society. So it did help out in that way. Just the way they did their EVP, the way they conducted it, is not how we do it at all. So, you know, you take it with a grain of salt. EVP does not stand for eager vaginal. I lost my keyword. <laughs> okay. Penetration. That's it. <laughs> That's the word I was going to work on, Chase. Next one. Electronic voice phenomena. Let's do 1408. You know, we can do Jack Frost, because really he died and came back as a snowman, so that'd be like a ghost, wouldn't it? Are you talking about the new one or the old one? No, the one with Michael Keaton. Oh, yeah. Well, that one sucked. I like the B-movie one with Shannon and Elizabeth in it. The killer snowman. Yeah, I never saw it. Oh, it was great. He's a convicted killer. He gets hit by this chemical waste truck, and it melts him into the snow so he becomes this killer snowman. And he goes out and he got a little bit of Shannon in the shower and he goes into the shower with her and freezes her inside a snowman. Hmm. It wasn't a bad movie. The old B movie. They end up killing him. They dumped a bunch of uh, antifreeze on him to kill him and then they put him in bottles and buried him and then he came back for a sequel later on. Have you ever seen the movie Turdster? Monster? <laughs> Monster, that's yeah, it. Monster, that was great. <laughs> That was a great movie. Oh, yeah. I am shit man. <laughs> kind of like Dogma with Gagata. Yeah, you really whatever. have to look this movie up. <laughs> I I saw it on the horrorchannel.com. They, like they throw it on there every now and then. The you can, uh, it's a free website, so you can go there. You can join it. And uh, they play uh, movies. They have a, a loop of movies they play through their theater, and they usually change it every Friday night. Friday nights, usually when you go there and you actually catch people in the room, you can... Chat and talk at the same time when the movie's going, but they've shown it on there many a time. And What's that, what I've, address I've, I've, I've almost peed myself watching that movie because it was so funny. What's that web What's address? The Horrorchannel.com. Make sure you visit that. So and our web address is IndianaParanormal.us. Scotty B is a moderator. Tell him hi. We are free too. <laughs> Come join our group, watch our videos. You can see how much fun we are. Um, I am shit man. <laughs> Okay, fourteen oh eight. Anybody here see it? Yep. Okay. Um, it was a decent thriller. Um, jumped around a little bit too much for my taste. Um, it was more you know a lot to do with the mind. I, I would have much rather preferred it to be a straight ghost story. However, like most Hollywood movies, it did not end like most Hollywood movies, where it disproves the ghost at the end. It actually leaves it open and. Leaves it open ended with the, the ghost. Wow, that review sucked. Yeah, that one sucked. <laughs> I watched it one time and we're, we're winging it in like here, four folks. different parts. Yeah, 
Look, let's want everybody seen the Andy Yeah. We can talk All about the old one or the new one, either one. I've no, seen we'll the old them together. I don't care. I mean, it's, it, you know the story. I haven't seen the remake. Okay. Andy the Horror. The remake any good? It wasn't mm. too bad. It, they really Hollywoodized yeah, it or whatever. Yeah. It up. Yeah. Oh. Um, a lot of stuff in the movie they took a lot of liberties with. Uh, they turned George Lutz into an ex wilding killer. He killed his dog and went after his wife and all this stuff. Ooh, blood and gore. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know George gore. Lutz, the guy that's actually based on. Um, he George tried to, yeah, he George tried to sue him. Um, 